All right, so the story I'm going to share with you guys took place in Far, Texas earlier this week. Um, let me read the headline for you guys real quick. Two brothers accused of beating, killing stepfather after he allegedly sexually abused their nine-year-old sister, police say. Two of the brothers found out about the alleged sexual assault. They confronted their stepfather and they began to fight. The man then left the location on foot. Police said one of the teens chased the man to an apartment complex down the road where a second assault occurred involving the brothers. The three then left the location, changed vehicles, and drove back where they found the man walking alone and injured. Police said that the man was assaulted a third time and beaten with brass knuckles. He apparently had severe head trauma. The man was then placed in the bed of a trunk and dropped off in a field in McAllen, Texas. Police said that they believe he may still have been alive at the time he was dropped off. So it was two brothers. The third individual was a friend of the family, a friend of the brothers who heard about this situation and was like, yo, I got to get in on this. I had a friend of mine who showed me, who shared that story to me a couple of days ago, like when it first broke. And to tell you the truth, when I read that headline, I was just kind of like, what's the issue? Those kids shouldn't be arrested for that. They shouldn't be facing life in prison. They should be getting a reward for it. They should, what's the issue? You're 18 year old and you find out that your nine year old daughter has been sexually assaulted by your stepfather who also has a past of sexual assault against minors. I don't see an issue for it. Still don't. And since that day happened, since that story broke, you know, I've seen a lot of petitions starting to be filed and things like that. And I got the petition right here. The petition right now is at 324,666 people out of 500,000. That was their goal. Justice for Alejandro, Christian, and Juan, the two brothers and a friend who were protecting their nine-year-old daughter from getting sexually assaulted from their stepfather. So what we're going to do right here on the New Reason channel, because I don't condone this type of behavior. I'm, I'm going to get into it a little bit. We got to get these kids out of it. We got to get these kids out. They ain't do nothing wrong. Absolutely nothing wrong with this. So this is what we're going to do. I'm just going to sign it. So you see? We're going to sign it. We got it right there. And there we go. Now it says... 194,926 new signatures were added to this petition thanks to the people who shared it. Okay, yada, yada. And that's where we at right now. Those three kids don't deserve to be in prison for the rest of their lives for protecting their sister. At all. They don't need to step foot in jail. They don't need to spend another day in jail. They, those three kids need to be free. One thing you want to get out of me Personally, and just on off this channel, I can play devil's advocate with certain things. You know, I kind of feel, I feel like I have that. I, I show empathy with certain situations, and you know, I can understand certain situations. I can understand why somebody would do this. I can understand why somebody may have done that. Doesn't mean I condone certain behavior, but you know, I can sit here and play devil's advocate. I get it. But there are some things in life that to never be accepted, never be condoned, never be allowed to happen. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter if you're white, black, rich, poor. It doesn't matter. And unfortunately, these types of things happen so many times. And depending on, you know, who the victim is or who the suspect is, you know, some people don't give a fuck about it. Some people don't give a fuck about it. You've seen for me on this channel, a lot of things I talked about. I've talked to you about law enforcement, but I don't want things to get confused. I do not support racism in law enforcement. I do not support racism in general. I don't support police brutality. I don't support social injustices. I don't support crimes, crimes against children. If you're a deadbeat father, if you sexually assault children, if you physically assault children, you're a piece of shit. I don't condone crimes against women. If you attack women, if you assault women, if you, I don't condone that. Con crimes against animals, I don't condone that. I would never respect that. Certain things in life, 
never deserve a pass. I don't give a, I don't care. There's some things, and I'm going to segue into that, into this next story that I'm going to tell you guys, right? <clears throat> I used to work for a medical transportation company. Driving 12 hours, doing all that shit. Certain days, we would have to do prison runs. We would have to go to Southwoods Prison or whatever prison it was, pick up an inmate. You know, we would actually drive in there, go in there, put him in a wheelchair, put him, take him to the hospital, whatever surgery they had to go to. And I've done multiple prison runs on my time when I was working for this company. It wasn't an issue for me. I was used to it. They knew I had a background in law enforcement too. So it was just kind of like, all right, all right, whatever. So a particular day, I get a call. You know, I, I, I clock in, I go to work. My dispatcher, he's like, yo, bro, we got a prison run later on, like around nine o'clock. Just get ready for that. I'm like, all right, bet. I go home, you know, just to get a little break, get something to eat. And I go on New Jersey DOC. I go on the website and I check out the inmate search because I always did that. Every time I did a prison run, I just wanted to know, well, who the fuck am I picking up? So I had already had the guy's name. I type it on the website and come to find out he had sexual assault charges against children, endangering a minor, you know, just a lot of crazy shit against two different females, two, a nine-year-old and a 14-year-old. And then I looked up the article, I went online, I typed his name and I typed his arrest and I, I saw the article and I said, nah, I'm not doing this shit. I said, fuck all that. So I, I called my dispatch. I said, yo, let me call, I got to call you real quick. You know, because we had little chirp phones, like walkie-talkie shit. So I'm like, yo, I got to call your phone. I, I, I call his personal phone. I said, look, you know, I don't mind doing these runs. I don't mind doing this shit. But is there anybody else you have that can go and pick up this guy? He's like, nah, what's going on, bro? He said, man, I, I told him, I said, man. I looked this dude's information up. He's a pedophile. I'm not picking him up. I'm, 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 I just cannot deal with that type of shit. I'm not going to be around that type of shit. And he's like, oh, fuck, man. I ain't know that because, you know, because he had kids. He got a lot of kids. You know, we young, so it's kind of, I'm like, bro. He's like, all right, man, hold on. Let me go check to see if I got somebody else who could do it, whatever, whatever. And he did. He got somebody else to, to, I told him, look, if you can't find nobody, I'll do it, but. If you can find somebody else to do it, that would be great. He was able to find somebody to, to, you know, to replace the run for me. I didn't have to do it. But I just didn't want to be in that situation. I didn't want to be around somebody that that gave off that energy. And mind you, like I said, I've done prison runs before. I have done a prison run before when I picked up a guy who was a murderer. Him and his ex, him and his ex-girlfriend killed her ex-boyfriend. They had some crazy ass plan or whatever, and we're in the van talking shit, laughing, talking about music, talking about the the the, the sports like like it was nothing. Mind you, he had this. I had the CEO and the passenger seat and then Trellum, so I wasn't. But we can still talk. I'm not talking to a pedophile. I'm not talking to people who uh, who attack women and. You know, try to have sex with kids and do all that. I'm not doing that. I don't give. A, I understand. I'm an advocate of mental health. I'm an advocate of therapy. I'm an advocate of getting your fucking life together and getting your shit together. But there's no nothing in the world that's gonna make me be like, oh man, I had a bad day, so a fucking seven year old kid turned me on and I had to go do it. Oh, you had to go do it, huh? We're going to end this video because I'm going to get mad. I'm going to get mad talking about this stuff, man. Follow that story. I'm going to check the link. Sign the petition. Get them boys out of there, man. The system failed that little, that little girl, their sister, that little dirty ass. I don't know what the mom was doing with the debt. We got to get them boys got to get out of there, man. Them boys got to get out. Appreciate the love, yo. Hit the share button. Like, subscribe to the channel. See you guys later. Catch you on the next one. Peace.